Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today is uh, hmm, Thursday, May 12th, 2011. Time is 4.38 p.m. Today, I'm speaking on the Samaritan woman at the well. Uh, this is a study on the on the transformation of the Old Covenant to the New Covenant. And Jesus, the Lord, brought this covenant in. And he was speaking with the Samaritan woman. And the Samaritan woman claimed that she was a follower of Abraham from her words impliedly and the Samaritans were not Jews Jesus never respected them as Jews and one thing important to know is what is a Jew well a Jew is a Hebrew patrilineal descendant of uh, Jacob. Uh, Paul, the Apostle Paul, was a descendant of uh, Benjamin. And he was a Hebrew. Now we have many Jewish people today that claim their father is Abraham. And as the Samaritan woman did, and they know quite a bit about him. The Samaritan woman did also. But the Jewish people, most of them are not Hebrews. They are not Jews. And many Americans do not realize this. And it's a very significant genetic uh, matter for people to understand. So when we when we hear all these church pastors and, and erring leaders refer to the Jews, they are not really referring to Hebrews and they're sort of just mixed up people. And uh, they really need to study about the Samaritan woman at the well which we're talking about right now. Okay, let's look into this a little further. Let me fill my glasses. Samaritan woman at the well. Transformation of the Old Covenant to the New Covenant. Also a great genetic study. John 4, 16. Jesus saith unto her, Go call thy husband. And come hither. Now this is from the King James Version and I know it doesn't sound like modern English and but it's still good to read from. At least uh, can't get sued for copyright uh, theft. Or I've never heard of anybody getting sued for it. You have to watch some other versions. They might cause you some problems if you tried to use their material or what they claim is their material. Verse 17, The woman answered and said unto him, I have no husband. Jesus saith unto her, Thou saidst thou well, I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. This hast thou said truly, so, from what I see here, whom she has now, if she's living with a man and it's not her husband, she's, she's living in adultery. And this is something common in, in America today, that many of the, many of people are living in adultery, and church pastors are marrying people that 
women that are unchaste and women that they should not be marrying off to a man. It's, it's, they're really just a, a big bunch of phonies and misleading the people. Okay, now to verse 22. John 4, 22. Ye worship that which ye know not. We worship that which we know. For salvation is from the Jews. The exact genetic identity of the Samaritan is not explained in this verse. But a Jew, as Jesus mentioned, Was a, was a Hebrew person. Uh, we talked about that. Okay, verse 4.25. The woman saith unto him, I know that Messiah, Messiah, Messiah cometh, he that is called Christ. When he is come, he will declare unto us all things. Jesus saith unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. So Jesus Jesus was telling the Samaritan woman that he he is the Messiah and uh, and she was really meeting a great prophet, the Lord Jesus. So one thing about this study on, on the woman at uh, the Samaritan woman at the well is ge genetic significance and the, it's also a deterrent for adultery which has plagued the world today. Have a nice day.